welcome to the 2022 Spring Awards concert. We are so glad you are here tonight, and as we get going, um, I want to remind you, please check and make sure that your cell phones and other electronic devices are set to silent. And if you do need to enter or exit during the program, we just ask that you wait until the applause between pieces. We are going to be handing out awards and recognizing people for a variety of activities spread throughout, so be aware of that, and then we'll be doing a quick set change to get set up for choir. So, our first piece for you this evening is entitled, I Am a Doctor, and this piece comes to you from the 11th Doctor's theme from Doctor Who. It features many short, fast notes that alternate between 4-4 and 3-4 time signatures. This energetic piece allows for a fun melodic blend between the saxophones and flutes, as well as a brassy fanfare stating the melody. We hope you enjoy.
sports tonight. I first want to recognize all of our seniors. So, we had a very large senior class and some very large shoes to fill. Um, after the band portion, the seniors will be able to come up and grab a carnation, but I realize there's not much to do with the carnation during the concert. So, if I could have the following seniors, please stand and we'll hold applause until the end. Gabby Burnaby Grassi, Lily Chandler, Bobby Coxwell, Theta Dalcero, Cassie Dobson, Mackenzie Gordy, Jade Finch, Mia Hanley, Quinn Hansen, Evan Jacobs, Caleb Johnson, Kyle Kingswan, Tegan Kaboski, Brad Cooley, Nathan Marichek, Delaney Meyer, Betsy Olson, Gabby Pardo, Kaylee Sweeno, and Annalise Swingo.
tonight goes to um, a group of seniors, and this is called the Instrumentalist Award. And this is for students who are consistently striving for excellence within the program. They have been involved, involved with high school band for four years and have been involved with solo and ensemble. They have most likely been a section leader or student conductor, involved in several performing ensembles, play secondary instruments, and show general and over-the-top enthusiasm for learning. So these next few students um, have a variety of uh, have a variety of activities that they have been involved in. I'm going to give a couple brief things, and then I will invite them all to the front. So. First of all, Gabby Burnaby Grassi has been very involved with many activities throughout the band. She has attended some honors bands as well as being a section leader within the percussion section. Bobby Coxwell has been very great with working with other students within the ensemble, helping out those who might not be sure on parts that they have. He has participated in three musical pit orchestras and has done an outstanding job. And first trimester was unable to get band into his schedule, so he did independent band and still performed with us for our activities. Cassie Dobson was one of this year's student directors, has played piccolo, handbells, has had numerous solos within the band, as well as soloed this fall with the choir. Evan Jacobs has had numerous solos within the ensemble, participated in Dorian, and stepped in last minute to fill in at solo and ensemble this year. Caleb Johnson has been very involved with jazz, has had solos with the band, and one you will be hearing momentarily. He has been a section leader, attended the UW Eau Claire Honors Band, was selected along with Gabby and Kaylee for NBA, attended Dorian and stayed solo and ensemble. Nathan Marichak has been involved with percussion ensemble, jazz band, and was part of the handbells percussion section this year, and has also been a section leader. And Kaylee Sweeno has been a student director, member of Woodwind Ensemble, handbells, and attended Dorian, and was selected for NBA. So if these students could please come forward. Grassi's 
Um, Murray Masola. <laughs> we have David Jacobs, alto sax solo. <laughs> and we have the freshman saxophone quartet. <laughs> you guys may all be seated. So awesome job to them. And the last little award that I want to award is called the Pep Band Enthusiast Award. So back there, try to, all try to band members have to attend at least four pep bands, but we had about eight students who went above and beyond and were at anywhere from 10 to 14. So uh, I really appreciate your guys' enthusiasm for being involved with that. And as a little pep for you, I have some nerds to give you. So, um, I will have all of you guys, as, as you are called, come up to the front. So, with 10 pep bands this past year, we had Riley Lindau, Franny Everson, Zach Dobson, Cassie Dobson, Lauren Bergerson. With 11, we had Destiny Amborn. With 12, we had Brad Cooley and Natalie Geyer. With 13, we had Bobby Cogswell. And with 14, we had Joni Strelo and Gabby Murphy Rossi. which was originally performed on fiddle, is introduced as a saxophone solo played by Caleb Johnson. As the piece progresses, the clarinets provide arpeggiated accompaniment and more instruments gradually join with the melody. Thank you. 
for Comedy and the Percussion Ensemble. We're going to do a really quick little move. So I'm going to have them get set up, and then I'll introduce the next. Hi, everybody. The last piece of Chopin Farewell did not have a lot by way of percussion. And so, sorry. So, to accommodate that, um, I asked the percussionists if they wanted and they were involved with percussion ensemble if they wanted the performance of the concert. So, this is the piece they took to say Solon Ensemble, and it is excerpts from Carmen Suite.
that we have three awards left. First of all, I want to recognize students who will be receiving band letters. So the letter for band is a part of something that is doing above and beyond the normal band class. So this includes a combination of the following events. So a four-year band member, participation in a majority of non-required pep band events, playing a secondary instrument, solo and ensemble in multiple events or having attended state solo and ensemble, showing leadership in band, participating in honors bands, being involved with community performances, soloing with the band, or extracurricular ensembles. So they will be receiving a physical letter, but we will do that um, during all, they'll actually get them during class. And then for the second, third, and fourth year letters, they will receive pins to go with their letter. So if the following students could please stand, these are the first year letter recipients. Lily Chandler, Mackenzie Doherty, Jade Finch, Kyle Kingswan, Tegan Kaboski, Delaney Meyer, Betsy Olson, Annalise Swiggum, Zach Miller, Destiny Amborn, Ethan Perrine, Mackenzie Nelson, David Jacobs, Zach Dobson, Jackson Tiedens, Garrett Tandy, Arun Pavina, Josie Damaski, and Mason Perrine. Our second year letter recipients are Gabby Pargo, Nathan Marichek, Brad Cooley, Mia Hanley, David Becker, Olivia Rumsey, and Isabel Blackdeer. Our third year letter recipients are Kaylee Sweeno, Evan Jacobs, Quinn Hansen, Bobby Coxwell, Franny Everson, Natalie Gaia, Joni Strelo, and Lauren Berkerson. And our fourth year letter recipients are Gabby Burnaby Grassi, Feta Del Cero, Cassie Dobson, and Caleb Johnson. recognize is the Director's Award. This is for someone who consistently leads by example, shows overall dedication to the program, will voluntarily contribute to the success of every performance, and is willing to take on jobs that are like the not so glamorous side of the band. So this student who will be receiving it this year has shown huge dedication to the program. From helping with instrument maintenance, serving as a band TA, taking essentially all of the music classes offered at Blackwater Falls, being willing to help move equipment, transport items, assist where needed, and spending multiple hours helping categorize and catalog the entire music library, which included over 1,500 pieces of music. So this year's Director's Reward recipient is Gabby Burnaby Grassi. Section leader, attended Dorian two years, 
and was selected for NBA this year. Additionally, in being a student director, even though she was on the Miss Jackson County float, during the parade stepped down to conduct the ensemble in her parade outfit and has shown outstanding musicianship, leadership, and dedication to the program. So this year's recipient is Kaylee Sweeney. is Flight of Valor, and it was written in honor of those who lost their lives on United Airlines Flight 93 on September 11, 2001. Woven into the lyrical sections of the piece are snippets of the hymn, It Is Well With My Soul. We have enjoyed how the piece alternates slow, expressive passages with fast, intense rhythms. Flight of Valor has allowed us to play in a variety of time signatures, including 6-8, 7-8, 9-8, and others.
everybody. Thanks for being patient. <laughs> Welcome to the core portion of our uh, concert here. Uh, if you don't know me by now, I'm sorry. Uh, for those of you at home, you probably don't know from the last time we live streamed. But my name is uh, <laughs> Max Schwanz. I'm the choir director here at Blackwood Falls High School. Um, our concert today is very thematic. Because I just, as choir directors, we love to actually have themes and stuff. So, um, it's going to be very interesting because we're going to be very life-heavy on this side of the stage and very death-heavy on this side of the stage. That's just how it worked out. I'm really sorry, guys. So, but it is about life and death. You kind of see there's going to be a lot of illusion in that in our first piece called Brook. Um, it's a fantastic piece. Uh, one of the coolest things about it is it's in a, in a meter that you don't normally hear. And by meter, I mean just time signature. Normally, we're just like that, cool, we're going to groove in four. This is in seven, eight, which, for those of you who did not do well in that, like me, is not a great direction. Um, so just listen for that kind of lilt a little bit, as it's, imagine the babbling brook kind of rushing along. Such was actually from a movement, um, hashtag this is stay. And so um, there's going to be a lot of text that was designed around that movement, featuring a lot of tweets that were actually sent to me, um, which will be read by Emily Swiddle. And then we also have a soloist, uh, Vivian Miller. So, Thank you. 
Thank you. 
Well, that was happy. Here comes this happy. Um, so this song is actually very, very cool. Uh, it's called Dies Irae. It's by Ryan Main. If you're familiar with Latin texts, which I'm sure all of you have taken a Latin class before, um, Dies Irae, Dies Ila is the Latin text that comes with the Day of Judgment. <laughs> so we went from bold adventures to <laughs> adventures over. So it's uh, very, very cool. Uh, it's uh, very interesting to hear the baritones really kind of get apart where they just get to scream and have some fun. So I look forward to that, and I look forward to hearing your reactions after the show. Student 
is part of a class that has really kind of stepped up from when I first got here last January. And I had them as eighth graders and they were kind of mess arounds, and that was kind of fun. But as soon as they became freshmen, they kind of realized, okay, cool, let's step it up. So I've been really excited to see kind of that growth. But I have to pick one, and we did. So our outstanding freshman award will be going to a Mr. Zachary Dobson. Our outstanding sophomore award. I will say our sophomores have been uh, small but mighty. I have a lot of outstanding sophomores. You're not proud. <laughs> now, uh, our, our sophomore class, I don't have many acquired, but all of them are outstanding, so this was a very hard choice. Um, it came down really to the wire, and that's a good thing. I was very excited to see some people. But uh, this year's Outstanding Sophomore Award will be going to Ellie Hefton. surprise for myself a little bit, so this is fun for me too. Um, so our outstanding upperclassmen, this goes for juniors and seniors. Um, this one is hard because it takes a lot to be a leader uh, two years after COVID, especially in a choral setting. Um, you had two years away from people singing, um, you had two years away from just like literally being the only contact you have is on your phone, so all of a sudden it'd be like, hey, this crazy thing called choir, let's do it again. Um, to step up is something that's very hard, and to lead with um, not having a big presence is also very cool, which makes this award kind of a cool thing, too. So our outstanding upperclassmen, as voted by their classmates, is going to go to Adelon Falcon. <laughs> so our next couple awards, I'm going to switch this up because I want to keep more suspense. <laughs> cool. Our next two awards are going to be our vocal performance award. Um, with these two, um, we always do two for this one. It goes to musical, it goes for solos, it goes for general like vocal ability, that kind of thing, which makes it pretty hard because with Mamma Mia, with our Pops concert, there's a whole lot of people who are deserving of this, but I have to choose two and that's really hard. Uh, so I made them choose for me. and. <laughs> Without that, we have our two vocal performance award winners are Vivian Miller. on the wall that says, hey, pick this award. So looking into it, it is for the choral member that doesn't really get recognition, but puts in the effort, puts in the hours. Uh, they are dependable, they are reliable, they know exactly what's going on, and they know exactly how to help. And the person that was chosen for this by me, uh, I feel it encompasses all of that. Um, we, I was very fortunate to have a couple TAs this year. Unfortunately, one of my TAs, because she's so awesome at what she does, was taken from me to help guide Mark through their process of changeover. So I could not ask for a better person for this award, which she already knows, you can see, she's like, what, 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 what? <laughs> um, so this award is going to Natalie Ray. <laughs> All right, finally is our National Choral Award. Um, this is the big one. Uh, this is our only national award that we give out, and it has to kind of have some gravitas behind it. Um, this has been a hard class. I have a lot of seniors who are willing to go above and beyond for me, which is great in your first year, because you're just like, dude, I don't even know where the bathroom is. Um, but it was a very hard choice, but then when it came down to it, it became slightly easier. Um, this student has been willing to step up uh, time and time again, to the point where she even learned a song four hours ago and then sang with the other choir. Um, 
I couldn't ask for someone who is more dedicated to music um, as well as dedicated to the department as a whole, whether it be band, choir, anything. So this year's National Choral Award is going to go to Annalise Fickle. today, but there, for some of you, we will be getting class, so look forward to that. Uh, to close out our piece, uh, oh yeah, we have one more. <laughs> I always forget there's always awards that I don't have. <laughs> you go ahead. No. Okay, so our last award is the Friend of the Arts Award. This goes to um, parents of band and choir members who have really helped us out throughout the year. And so um, this parent is the parent of a senior and has been incredibly helpful for all of the times that we have to move equipment. Um, and so this year's recipient of the Friend of the Arts Award is Bob Grassi. Woo! Thank <laughs> you. 